um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. So um, here's a little agenda of kind of what we're going to uh, accomplish today. We're going to do a, a little more detailed introductions for just the board so you can get to know us a bit better and then a big overview of the club and the organization. We'll talk a bit about what we've done um, this past almost a year, half a year. We start, we were founded, like we kind of put it into work, the planning process of starting winter quarter last year and we really kicked it off in spring. Uh, we'll talk a bit about what's next. And the real meat of this meeting is the breakout exercise. We really want to get you guys involved to figure out what are you looking for in the club? What would you like to see in the next year? And then at the end, we'll take a little time to report out from those breakouts. And then we'll talk about open board positions and the next steps. Um, so we'll do this one real quick. You've uh, heard a lot. You've heard from all of us. You know us. Um, you know we're all second years with the exception of Corey, who's going to be leaving us here pretty soon. She's almost graduated. Um, but what I'm going to have us share is uh, who do we get inspiration from? Who is one of our inspirational leaders? Um, I am, my, my biggest inspiration comes from my mom. Um, she, you know, she was a single mother since I was four and she's a badass businesswoman, and I get all of my skills from her essentially. Um, she's amazing. And yeah, I, I, I definitely, even now when I'm doing cases for school, I call her up and be like, yo, what would you do in this situation? So she's a really big influence for me. So that's my, my inspirational leader. Hi, I'm Corey Ritter. I know I've met some of you the first years. I don't think that I've met quite yet, but I am um, the co-founder along with Kelly for Women's and Leadership Sacramento. I am work for a seed company as a strategic business analyst. And for me, thinking about my inspiration, I would probably have to say my grandmother. My grandmother was a really big civil rights activist um, and also was a big proponent for integrating schools um, back in the 60s and 70s and also um, really just believed in education, actually didn't get her bachelor's degree until she was 40 because she really wanted to um, be able to provide more education to people in like lower income schools. And um, that's someone I really look up to. Hi, uh, my name is Sumeda Gulati. I'm the uh, VP of our club, and um, I'm, a, I'm a second year uh, entering class 2019. Uh, I have uh, several years of experience in healthcare management operations, and I'm currently working as um, strategic initiatives coordinator for a non healthcare nonprofit uh, project management uh, type role. And for me, uh, an inspiring leader is my, my maternal grandmother. She brought up, she had a lot of patience and she uh, did the, she brought up um, a child with mild uh, mental retardation in a time and place where there was no structure to support her. Uh, this is, it's my aunt and this was in India and she, she even taught her how to read English and Hindi. And so she, she has, she has been all, my inspiration of her just patience and humility. Um, so always, always think about her a lot. Thank you. Hello again, Kristen. I'm the director of events. Uh, I've worked in the healthcare insurance for about, I think 11, 11 or so years now. I'm a director uh, in the sales operations area. Uh, my inspirational leader, or at least one of them is actually one of the first bosses that I worked for. She was, her parents were immigrants to the United States and she was one of nine children. She was one of the older ones. Um, they didn't have a lot of money, so she actually raised a lot of her younger siblings. Um, so just to hear her story and what she's gone through and like where she's come today and how successful she's been through hard work um, is just really inspiring to me. So uh, my name is Anna Gordon, and I am a uh, second year student at the GSM and um, expecting to graduate in 2022. Um, and I will have to say that my um, favorite role model or inspirational role model has to be my mother. Um, she was an immigrant in this country. Um, she was a single parent. And um, she really showed me how to, um, 
how to how to grow up and and be a strong woman and keep pushing through um, to achieve the goals that I have and and just in general you know just empower me to 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 do and be where I'm at now so that's it Hi again, everyone. This is Natalie. I'm um, similar to many who have mentioned. Uh, my inspiration is also my mother. Uh, she's a first generation college graduate um, and just a, a badass in her own way um, in terms of promoting education, um, in particular for rural communities. Um, but overall, we'll also say that I think today is a really inspiring day from the perspective of we have our first female elected vice president. Um, so really excited. You know, I think just just a you know historical moment. No, his no elected official is perfect, but I think this is just a time to celebrate. Um, so I'll put that out there as well. Thank you for that. I. I almost wanted to change my inspirational person just because of how inspired I felt this weekend in general, but that thanks so thanks for that. Okay, let's dive in here. Um, so you can find our bylaws on the, the, the Women in Leadership website as part of the GSM. I'm not going to get too deep into it. I just want to throw our mission up there that like we want to connect our future leaders through the GSM through pro professional, educational, and social activities. We want to bridge these connections. We want to inspire women. We want to make it, you know, easier for you in this program. We want to be a conduit for that. Um, and so that's why we founded it. That's why um, Corey and I ran into each other at a GSM Christmas party. It's like, you want to start a woman in leadership? I don't want to start a woman in leadership. And we just, you know, that's that's kind of how we got started. So um, we did have a strategic planning uh, meeting over the summer where uh, we really hashed out what we want to do for the club since we don't didn't have really anything because it's founded from nothing. And we came out with these values. Um, we really, what was one of the most important things that stuck out from the beginning is we wanted to be concentrated on diversity and inclusion. We want to have that in our membership and we also want to have that in our programming. That's kind of where, um, Anna will tell you a little bit later, our next speaker series uh, concentrates on that aspect of it. So that's very important to us. Uh, we want to concentrate on innovation. We want to have new ideas, and that's partly why we're having this meeting, so that we can get information from you. You know, use the women that are in this program to come up with new ways to to better women, to advance women. Um, we want to focus on partnership. Hence, the a lot of we've been bridging out and reaching over across clubs. It makes sense to reach out to the full time program, to the Bay Area program. We all have the same goals and and vision, so we really want to partner with that. We also want to partner with with outside of the GSM organizations. And um, we'll get to a little bit about that when I get to the next slide, but um, we wanna also improve. So that's again, why we're involving you and why we tend to send out surveys after our events. We wanna hear what was good, what was bad, what can we do better next time? Um, obviously leadership is one of the most important things because you know it's in our name. You know, we wanna, we wanna improve our leadership skills. Um, that's part of being in the GSM in general. Um, and agility, uh, especially in uh, COVID, we, we want to be able to adapt uh, to whatever the world throws at us. So this is something, you know, Corey and I got together in winter in person. And we're like, we have these great, big, huge visional plans and then things change. So we have to be able to adapt. Um, so the general overview of what we, we, we in our strategic plan saw as the vision for the club, um, We'll have these, we hope to have a general membership meeting once a quarter open to all um, Sacramento students to kind of talk about what we're doing and what we can do better and, and the future and what's coming and what that. Uh, we've been doing these wellness events. We had that yoga event, which was really, whoops, really, really fun. Um, we are gonna incorporate some actual trainings. Um, we are partnering currently with the um, Bay Area program to try and um, provide a bias training. We, we're, that's still in the works, but um, that's one of our goals. Uh, back Way back when we started founded, the full-time program was doing a clothing drive um, to provide interview clothes to college students. And so we try and do, we got to try and get involved within our community here in Davis, Sacramento in the Bay Area to try, to try and be involved and help there. And then we have this speaker series, which um, we started with our first one that 
Corey will mention, and then um, that we're continuing this quarter and we hope to continue to have one every quarter. So with that, that's the main general overview. I'm gonna turn it over to Corey, who's gonna just brief you a little bit on what we've done for those first years who didn't experience um, them last year. Yeah, so um, as Kelly mentioned, we both were really passionate about bringing a women's and leadership club to Sacramento. This is the first time that we've ever had this type of club. Um, for me and my cohort, we have a small number of women. There's probably between um, 10 to 15 of us, I would say. And the cohort behind me that came in, that's almost half women. Um, I was really interested in getting something off the ground. And I was lucky enough to meet Kelly, who was um, interested in doing the same thing. And so we wanted to make it engaging and meaningful for our members. Um, and so we started off with a speaker series. We were going to do something in person and COVID happened. And I brought in a speaker from a food and ag immersion course that I took at the GSM um, and brought in the public relations director from Rayleigh's who did this great um, talk about what men can learn from women in the workplace, um, something that a lot of people don't really talk about. Um, and then from there, we started collaborating with the Bay Area Club and also the full-time program because we felt like it was really important for us to expand our networks because um, we're stronger, stronger together. And so with that, doing a lot of diversity and inclusion initiatives, um, as Kelly mentioned, something that we're really working towards is unbiased, um, unconscious bias training workshop, and then also doing other various and trainings with them. Um, and then this summer, we did another event um, doing, knowing that people were a little zoomed out and the summer can get a little crazy with summertime classes. Um, so hired a yoga teacher to come in and do a refresh and revive after the summer session, and which was really fun. We even had the dean that came and did some stretches with us, which was really fun. And tonight we'll have some time for you guys to kind of brainstorm and help us think of some other initiatives that maybe we can do in the future. Um, now I'm going to pass off to Anna, who's going to kind of tell you about an event that we actually have coming up here in two weeks. Thank you, Corey. So in the fall, um, as mentioned, we, we're trying to get a speaker um, um, every quarter as part of our speaker series event. And this fall, our special uh, speaker guest is um, Meg Kamalik, and she is a retired FBI agent. Um, in this event, we'll be hosting over Zoom um, Mary will be speaking on her experience in working in a uh, white male dominated field um, as a woman of color. So if you haven't um, already registered, registration is available and we do ask um, for your attendance. Uh, Kelly should be posting the link in our chat momentarily. Um, and um, also, um, as mentioned, um, we do want to keep our, our, our quarterly speaker series going. And um, we have um, in this winter um, a, a um, um, we're wanting to hold um, a, a speaker in this winter with a date to be determined um, on the topic of mentorship. Um, our guest speaker events are really designed um, to bring back or to bring in topics of interest. And so what we're going to be asking from our members um, is to um, get some engagement and, and provide some feedback um, on your surveys and let us know what topics um, you're interested in. Um, and that way we can try to serve you better and deliver on our mission. So. Uh, next, I'll turn it over to Samita, who will be talking a little bit more about our breakout session. Thanks, Anna. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be uh, breaking out into our breakout groups, and um, we're going to brainstorm. Uh, we want you guys to brainstorm, gals to brainstorm um, ideas within three general areas, professional, educational, and social. We'll spend about five minutes on each. We'll put those ideas together for each group. And then um, you guys ch choose a person to speak uh, when we come back together and present on your uh, the, the, the key ones that you'd like to. And we'll we'll have that all put together um, into our, our slides. 
And um, so as you think about uh, what you want to um, offer for your ideas, uh, we're, we're just we're interested in gathering all ideas. Uh, we really want to keep that open, no criticism allowed. And we welcome crazy ideas. I mean, we're we're open to that because it's it's you know it's a COVID COVID world, and we have to be creative about what types of events we have. You know, like we had our yoga session, virtual yoga session, uh, which I thought that was really fun. And um, when you when you're thinking about as you share others' ideas, um, feel free to like build on top of those ideas as well in the, in the the, st the stream of yes and. How can I, uh, you know, um, tweak it or um, build on it? So uh, from here, we'll go into our breakout rooms and um, brainstorm on. Before we do that, I'm ready. We're going to go into two breakout rooms. Um, but before that, does anyone have any questions that they want to ask? Um, like anything. Uh, we will have some time at the end for more questions and we will at the after this go over like board and, and that kind of stuff. But does anyone have any questions about the club in general or, or anything? Kelly, quick question for you. I was just wondering, does the, does the um, club have a goal that it wants to reach as well so that we could come up with ideas to help us get there? Or is it, has, is it been undecided yet? I think the, 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 the goal is to, to provide opportunities for women um, within the GSM to, to network, to, to advance themselves and to become better leaders. That's like the overarching um, goal that we can, if you go back to like our mission here, um, that's kind of our overarching goal. Um, but this, we also want it to be like, the me general membership wants, you know, we want it. That's part of the reason why we have these general membership meetings is we want to find out, well, what's important to you in terms of a speaker series, in terms of a training, what helps you become a better leader. Um, and that is what we're hoping to pull out of this, these breakout rooms, essentially. Good question. Great question. Uh, anybody else? Okay. Um, there are two rooms. You will have two facilitators. Y'all are lucky. Um, and yeah, it's about 20 minutes and then we'll bring you back and we'll do some report out. So I'm going to uh, open the rooms now. Before we do the report out, I just wanted to drop this link into the chat. If you can copy it and put it somewhere. That is the recording of our first speaker series, Chelsea, which was an amazing first kickoff uh, speaker. So if you wanna watch it, um, she's an amazing speaker and um, really great. Um, and so it's on YouTube, the GSM's YouTube. So I just put that link in there. Um, so I wanted to share that with you. So we're gonna, I hope you guys nominated someone to do a report out. Um, just talk a little bit about what you guys discussed and what really stood out. Um, I do want to mention that we want to take everything that you guys talked about. Um, we're going to try and incorporate a lot of it. We'll do the best we can. We may even try and involve you um, to help us execute some of these things um, throughout the course of the year. We're going to try our best to, to accomplish it. So breakout room one, which I think was Corey and Kristen, is there someone from your group that's going to share? So Kelly, can I share the screen of the, the PowerPoint? That way they can reference it as they speak. Uh, sure, if you'd like. So Becca is going to be our representative for breakout room one. Great. And thank you, Sumeda. I'm glad that you thought of that because I was thinking I'm not going to be as effective yeah. if I don't have <laughs> access to uh, what we talked about. So thank you. Um, Are you all able right. to see it clearly? Yes, I can see. Thank you. So yeah, real quick. So under professional we had a couple different ideas and the first was about industry engagement. So one of us mentioned that um, it's difficult to learn about a new industry when you might only have experience in one or a few. So that could be really valuable hearing from speakers across different industries. And then relatedly, we'd like to hear more from women in male dominated industries and particularly about how women are viewed as leaders in the workplace. And we thought that Professor Elsbach might be a good potential speaker for that topic. Under education, we talked about the importance of being able to lead from where you are. 
this was an idea that I've been thinking about a lot, um, how to convey yourself as a leader in any role. So I mentioned that right now I don't have direct reports at work, but I still want to convey myself as a leader. So what does that look like? Um, whether that's training, or we also talked about the potential of a mentoring program, which Kristen mentioned that it sounds like the GSM is already working on that. So it might be an opportunity to collaborate or align. And then for networking, we talked about the importance of networking across the three programs. And Corey mentioned that, you know, GSM is a small community to begin with, and it could be really um, beneficial for everyone if we networked more often across the three programs. And something specific that we would like to do and that we could be agile with, whether in person or virtual, is a paint and sip event. Those were some of our our highlights. Very cool. Thank you so much for sharing on behalf of Breakout One. That's that's really great. Uh, thank you. We're going to hopefully take all of these and, and, and pick and choose a couple that we could actually make happen. And, and again, we'll love to involve you, Becca, maybe on some ideas if you know someone who could speak or train on leading from where you are in the future. So great. Thank you so much for that. Um, Breakout Two, which was uh, Natalie and Corey and Anna, maybe. I don't know if Anna, you were in, which one you were in, but um, is there, do you guys have a nominee to share from breakout two? We're gonna tag team it. <laughs> we decided it's, love it's it. teamwork and collaboration. I love um, it. I absolutely love it. So we're all gonna, all gonna kind of share our ideas. Um, I had a couple of ideas for the professional side of it, and it was. Um, maybe getting speakers from and women that are breaking into male dominated industries. We talked a lot about food and ag. I mean, we're Davis and there's a lot of um, students that are really in those fields and it's still very he heavily male dominated. So kind of choosing maybe finance and tech and getting a speaker series going on women that have broken into those fields and how they did it. And then we also talked about potentially hearing from women who either got into their career later in life, either because that was their choice or they were changing careers and how did they make um, those pivots and those changes to be successful and where they are. Sierra, you can just continue. You're doing a great job. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, we also talked about, so for some educational series, um, maybe a peer-to-peer -peer learning. So not really educational from someone coming in and teaching, but just leveraging the resources that we have all amongst us and really, especially the third to second years to the first years um, and just kind of providing insight based off of all of our experience, all of like women's experiences here on all of the experiences that the second and third years have had um, since us first years are coming in a little bit blind, we feel. Um, and then we talked about a book club or networking event within Will or maybe even within the larger GSM that could be partly educational. You know, we could choose a book that's on women in leadership or even provide it as a social or networking opportunity and maybe choose one that is a little bit more fun, but still insightful. And maybe from the perspective of a woman that gives us all a break from just truth studying, but gives us an opportunity to meet and talk about it and network and socialize and talk about something different than just school. Great, thank you. I really, I love these ideas. I like the the peer-to-peer -peer learning, I think that would happen more naturally if we were able to be in person. And I think, you know, facilitating it through, through, you know, physically getting it done in this kind of environment is what we probably need to do. And so that's a great idea. And, and I love book clubs and I think that's great too. So uh, thank you. Thank you breakout too for your, um, your, your info. And um, again, we hope to take a lot of these ideas and, and make things happen. We'll be calling on you for ideas, more ideas and speakers. And, we really hope to have one of these general meetings every quarter so we can we can check in and talk about things that you know maybe we aren't able to accomplish them now but we we they're on your radar and they're important to you so we can keep them coming in the general session the general meeting so that we can make it happen 
Um, I'm gonna stop your sharing and go back to sharing mine and go into present. Um, so that was the report out. Thank you everyone for everyone's participation. Again, it's really, that's really what we wanted out of this meeting is to really get your feedback and what you're looking for in, in the club. So that was great. Um, we're wrapping it up here. I know I'm going to take five minutes to do this real quick because I want to be really sensitive about time. Um, quickly about the board and what the board role is for those of you that might have interest. Um, we currently have five positions. There's the president or the vice president, director of finance, director of marketing, and director of programming. Um, we potentially have the ability to have multiple presidents and vice presidents. If there are many people that want to be involved on that level, there's no way we're going to say no. We want people to be involved. Um, it's a one-year term. You are elected in like the end of winter quarter and you serve spring to spring. Um, there's about once a month a board meeting. There might be two if we have a lot going on or like we were doing a strategic planning in summer we had a few more, but about one monthly board meeting and outside of those meetings, depending on your position, you might have three to 10 hours of work. Um, it's probably closer to the three than the 10. We had, a, it was closer to, I my cool, I had, we put 10 on there because we were getting, you know, started as a club, I think. Yeah, we, you know, we're, we're functioning now. But, um, in our bylaws, you're required to participate in at least 75 of meetings event held in one term. Again, you are here for school, obviously, is your first priority. So if there are things happening, that's really a flexible thing. It's just in our bylaws. And, and we really do want you to participate so we can make the club beneficial. Um, so the election process, um, they're held in next quarter. It's a self-nomination process, process. So we have um, three-ish positions available. Um, our vice president position is going to be available. Our director of marketing position is going to be available and our director of programming is going to be available. Again, that's the pres vice president, marketing and programming. Um, the kind of the, what the process is, is first I'd like you to reach out to the current person who has your position or um, so you can see there our emails are up there. Um, or if you want to talk to someone that isn't leaving, but is in a different position. So that would, uh, you could talk to any of us really, but um, we ask you if you're interested in a particular position to reach out to that person and set up a, you know, a Zoom call or a phone call or an email back and forth, whatever works for you to just kind of talk about what that role entails. And um, if you don't know, you might be interested in events um, or programming or marketing or vice president, you don't know, set up a meeting with all of us. You know, we are what we're willing to talk to you and, and want to learn more about you and tell you about the positions. So set that meeting up. And then once you've decided on what you're interested in, email me um, with like a three sentence blurb about what position you want and why, why you're interested in it. I don't need like a paragraph or an essay or anything. I just want to know, we, we just want to know why you want the position and what you're looking for. Um, and please, I need that by, um, like mid winter quarter, I guess I should, probably should pick the date. So right now I'm going to say like February, I don't know, 5th, somewhere around there in beginning of February would be great so that we can start the process. Um, so that, uh, we can get everything, um, square away. We do a meeting at the end of the quarter to do transitions and training. Um, I think that that was it. Um, so I guess we'd open up to questions. I know it's eight o'clock, so I'm sorry that we didn't leave more time for questions, but I'm, we're willing to stay as long as we want if people have questions. Um, but yeah, let me go back to that slide that has everyone's email so you can copy the ones you need down if you want them. Yeah, so uh, does anyone else have any questions or any on the board wanna say anything? I would just say, oh, go ahead, Nana. <laughs> Thanks, Kristen. I just wanted to say thank you, everyone, for joining us. Really appreciated your engagement today, uh, you know, the ideas that you brought forward, and looking forward to uh, engaging with you, hopefully, in the next general meeting.
Yep, I would agree. And I was just going to add on to these board positions as well. We've got the board positions here, but just so you guys know how we've kind of been working, it's pretty collaborative. Um, so you may have the title vice president or whatever it may be, but we definitely have all been working together. Um, 100%. Yeah, I agree with that. Okay, well, if no one has any other questions, you guys are welcome to go. Thank you so much. Um, look forward to hearing from some of you um, and good luck. I know some of you already had fine, uh, midterms, so congrats and good luck on the rest of the quarter. Thanks everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Bye.